Because a lot of people will come into your life and just want to stay stagnant. But that doesn't mean that you have to. And God literally gives you the answer like the very next day. <laughs> it's like, dang, dang, God. I thought you was going to, you know, I thought you was going to ease it in. But guys, I'm so ready. But this apartment, like. Guess where we're at? I wish him well. I wish him, you know, greatness. But this is my season with God and my girls to really go through a new season of joy, of peace, and of happiness. Today is the first day of school. Now, y'all remember the last time we came to Starbucks. They didn't play in my face today, so... Good morning, you guys. Today is Monday. This is the start of a fresh new vlog. I look crazy, but it's okay. It's okay. So today um, is actually Kaylin's um, open house. So I'm getting her ready for that. Um, this afternoon around four, she has ballet. So I'm super excited for that. I enrolled her in ballet classes. So she starts ballet on Mondays. I'm definitely going to record that. Like right now, I feel like a proud mommy right now. <laughs> So I have a morning meeting with my brand agent right now. So Hey Linda, how are hey, you? I'm good. How was your weekend? Weekend, so we should hear back on that hopefully today and you okay, can get cool. the link that. The brief is in for Toon Blast as well. August fifteenth is next yeah, yeah. I'll have a video ready for that. For sure. Okay, so that means we would have to send that in, ideally on the 10th, just to ensure... At the very end of my video or at the end of that brand sponsorship? At the end of your video. All right, y'all. So that was done. Um, So I'm about to go get myself t together because I feel like a, like a mess. Like a mess, a mess. I need to take a shower. Brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. 
Still turned to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the map. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. I don't got no makeup. I don't have time to do my makeup. I want some lipstick. Cause we're running late. Cause we're running late, y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you. Okay, okay, come get your book bag. Say hi. Say hi. Who? No, I'm doing. I like your dress. My hair got longer for real. Okay, guys. So OMG. So I'm now leaving Kaylin's school, right? And I'm getting her things together to leave and stuff like that. So tell me why I get a notification, an email from the apartment complex that I applied to last week. And then in the last video, um, Unfiltered Days, um, I mentioned to you guys that this is a new season for me. I really wanted to get approved by an apartment by myself for me and my girls. Like, if y'all didn't know, I am recently divorced, but not really recently. This happened, like, last year, but it's still fresh, I guess, because we just finished um, dealing with, like, the legal things. So, that, so, literally, like, that door is finally closed. That chapter is closed in my life. I wish him well. I wish him, you know, greatness, but this is my season with god and my girls to really go through a new season of joy of peace and of happiness and literally me just depending fully on him you know what i you know what i mean not depending on nobody else but him and right now it's just motivation too because i'm like you know what i gotta get to work i'm about to have my own apartment so i need to like get to work i need to start working I need to start packing but when i left when i saw that notification of congratulations you are approved y'all i literally just kept thanking thanking jesus i was like thank you lord thank you for all that you're about to do in my life thank you for what you're doing glory like i just gave god the glory because this is bigger for me than just getting a getting accepted to for an apartment you know what i mean it's it's me entering literally a new chapter, a new phase of my life where it's not linked with someone else in a way. And you know what I mean? This is all me and this is all with God. Already know, know, know. up a couple more no side. Take you what I know you probably for a side. No, I gotta come and check the whole man, baby. Hold tight. Okay, guys, so I'm about to get KK ready for ballet. Today's her first day. Um, so, yeah. These are the tights, and these are 2T, 3T. This is the leotard. I got this off of Amazon. My dress. I got some in my dress. You look so pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a dress. Yeah. Right. Turn the. That's your camera. Go ahead.
I'm gonna bring it. just sent myself a few pictures like family photos like this and we're gonna see if I can print it out real quick and glue it on to this I hate the fact that I just did this last minute but I totally forgot about her folder last night so we're gonna go ahead and print that glue that on real quick and yeah yeah landscape is good y'all this is what we working with all right now let's go you excited yeah Ooh, i don't got a booger on my nose bro <laughs> are you excited yeah today is the first day of school yeah. oh good morning beautiful people so there's this long line wrapped around the block. All right, I'm dragging. It's not wrapped around the block, but there's definitely a long line, like a long, long line. I don't know why the line is so long. The first year, it's never been this long. Like it's 904. Whatever system that they're doing this year is slowing down the process. And I think they should stick with what they did last year when it comes to like carpool drop off with your kids because this is crazy it's like 904 unless because this is the second year so you know when it's like the second year of things word of mouth people start you know figuring out what's going on but guys i'm so ready for this apartment like not people are people are people parking their car and getting out this is funny okay y'all so i'm getting ready for my um counseling appointment well therapy today is my first appointment so i really hope it goes really good actually and i don't think i'm gonna wear makeup today because my face is breaking out again. So that means my cycle is on its way. Oh, and if I put makeup on, it's not gonna help. So I just put some toner on my face. And I don't care how much you might think, you know, you might not need pet therapy or, you know, you're good and healed, like, no. You need some sort of counseling and help. So, so I just have my hair up. I really want to put some makeup on, but makeup or my skin? Which one? I feel like my skin looks good enough where I could go with no makeup and do just lip lip gloss. And then I'm also wearing my glasses my mom glasses because y'all i cannot freaking find my glasses like at all so this is how i'm looking y'all for today therapy session this is the vibe and i got this shirt from target i love these like cashmere type of shirts I can't wait y'all until I get my freaking car stand because I be really want to be talking I really be wanting to talk to y'all in the car and I feel like I can't 
But I don't know. I feel like this could work for right now. I'm not even gonna hold you. I feel like we got a little cute mini setup right now. <sighs> but y'all, today's a beautiful day. It's a lot of car chats in this video. I feel like a lot of car chats. Do y'all do y'all lock y'all door when y'all are approaching like a lot of people? Cause I lock my door very often. Cause people are crazy. I'm so happy. I've definitely been really surrendering a lot to God. And I know people say like, oh, give it to God, give this to God, give, give that to God. But it's easier said than done. Like, it's hard to kind of not worry about things, not worry about people, not let situations annoy you or have you, you know, worked up about it. You know, it's hard to have emotional discipline. And I feel like that's what, I feel like that is something I'm working on. I feel like God is trying to teach me to have more financial, have more emotional discipline. Like not letting my emotions just get out of control and really sit down and figure out what's bothering me because that's a hard thing for me to do i feel like i react first sit down think later and i'm realizing that's not always a good thing to move out of emotion if any of you guys dealt with just narcissistic abuse and recovering from that you'll learn quickly that your emotions play a huge part in your healing process and for me your emotions is linked to your soul so me leaving that past relationship and leaving a narcissistic marriage and trying to move forward you have to check you have to check your emotions you know what i mean um when trying to move and trying to move forward meaning you're not letting your emotions lead you and that's with anything because when you're in an abusive relationship your emotions are out, your emotions is all over the place so that's something that you have to pray to god and ask god hey god can you please take control of my emotions purify my emotions again purify my thought process i pray against anxiety i pray against fear i pray against depression because when you're leaving a relationship like that you're when you're le when you leave a narcissistic relationship abusive relationship or whatever you leave that situation more depressed more more like just engulfed with anxiety and fear and worry like everything is just through the roof your insecurity issues like your into like your confidence is just trash so when you leave a relationship like that you have to really ask god to help you and today this morning, I was just feeling like down and I didn't know why. I'm over here like, yo, why do I feel depressed right now? Why do I feel annoyed right now? And God had to literally bring to my memory, you need to give me your emotions, your thoughts, and I have to purify it again. I need to restore everything that you lost i need to restore i need to renew i'm just going through that right now like really trying to have emotional discipline and know what's facts and not rely on my feelings or emotions the facts is that you have authority over satan's you know schemes the facts is that you're a, you're a child of God. The fact is that God would never let you 
fall when he's holding your hand so you can trust him. The facts is that you have authority over depression. He does not want you to live a life of fear and with anxiety. So while I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself. Good morning, you guys. So I just been dropping Kaylin off to school. <sighs> I'm clearly tired. <laughs> I went to, I went to bed late last night because I was up late working on my true crime. But I just wanted to update you guys that counseling went extremely well. Um, I really, really love my counselor. So I'll be going every week for once a week. And right now our focus is really just healing, you know what I mean? And healing and just pushing forward. Um, I really feel like she was sent from God. She understands narcissist abuse and recovering from that. And a lot of people sometimes they overuse or they misuse the word narcissist, like everyone's a narcissist, but no, like those type of people those type of people really exist and i literally was with a narcissistic person ex-husband whatever you want to say so god really 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 sent her i feel because she healed from that she went through that um for four years so she knows the signs and you know uh, and how to move forward and it's also christian based so she's able to give me you know spiritual and what god is trying to do and how god can help me heal and just move forward but also she's going to talk about you know the side effects on certain things and your mental health and you know stuff like that and you know healing from your traumas healing from childhood traumas or whatever you know whatever goes hand in hand with just this healing process right now so when i went in there her office was really cute and cozy she's definitely just free spirited and she's a christian like I, she's um a christian counselor i really wanted that i wanted both someone that i can see that understands god and also understands you know the mental aspect of it i left feeling very encouraged very excited for this healing journey this healing process and she was like you're doing an amazing job like you're already doing the right steps now right now is just pretty much i guess seeing what went wrong now actually taking the time to feel everything and then talk about it and just move forward and so she, i'm just very excited for this new season i'm very excited you know to just start this so my first session went very well i wasn't able to record when i got home because i went straight into working and i'm gonna do that again today so this vlog consists of a lot of car chats but i think you guys are okay with that tell me if y'all are okay with it but um so yeah so my counseling session went very well yesterday and i encourage you guys right now if y'all are if y'all are thinking about doing it do it it's needed i feel like especially for us as african americans trauma runs in our dna so we already have that running against us then we have our day-to-day -day. so it's like going going you know to therapy could help you release some things and i felt like after i left that counseling session i felt like lighter like i released certain things and i'm gonna keep releasing keep releasing and keep healing and god's gonna just keep pouring 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 right back into me his love his care his healing his restoration forgiveness all of that because at the end of the day even though you know when it comes to these narcissistic you know frogs at the end of the day um you could see that you could identify okay this person has real issues they're not a good person you need to stay away from them but you could also forgive and wish them well and wish them healing 
so that's where i'm at right now like i definitely feel like i'm in the forgiving phase of look i might not ever get an apology you know i might not ever get a yo i was wrong for doing a b c and d from him from my ex-husband and people that are associated with him i wouldn't i probably would never get the you know hey i'm sorry i did a b c and d i'm sorry that i was controlling and abusive and whatever i'm sorry that you know i didn't take my vows seriously i'm sorry for you know whatever and she had to bring that to my attention that you might not ever get that but you know like even if you don't that doesn't change even if you do and even if you don't it still doesn't change anything because the person that you were dealing with there's something deeply wrong and that's not up that's not up for you to fix or try to figure out why they did this and they did it that's the facts now how can we move forward you know what i mean like right now just moving forward in forgiveness i wish you well <laughs> so that i could be a better person for me and mine me, meaning me and my girls you know what i mean because i don't want to trauma dump and i don't i don't want them to also experience the things that i've experienced you know like just learning learning from me and doing better and things like that so yeah guys so i'm gonna go inside take a shower and get to work um i hope you guys are just having an amazing day today is wednesday so i was gonna pick up this vlog again probably friday enjoy your day guess where we're at stop Now, y'all remember the last time we came to Starbucks. They didn't play in my face today, so that's a good thing. Chocolate? The chocolate one? Hey guys, so... <sighs> Hold on, can't put my bag on. I know, we're starting today chaotic but it's okay it's okay we're here okay guys i got my bag <laughs> how about with the louis hey guys so i'm actually going to breakfast at ihop today is my auntie's birthday my favorite auntie my um mom's sister so we're just doing you know brunch and my grandma is down here from new york so that's cool so i'll see you guys in a little bit oh mommy look cute thank you <laughs> say hi hi <laughs> okay guys so i'll see you guys in a little bit um yeah and i have like this green dress my little bag Okay, mm -hmm. life can be very difficult, but God has been extremely good mm -hmm. through it all. And so I'm very grateful mm -hmm. to be sitting here in my right mind, mm -hmm. um, having my family, my kids with me, mm -hmm. and just enjoying life. And um, I can't yes. thank God for anything else because it's been good. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. 
Are you okay to I don't like say hi? You look beautiful. Happy birthday, God. And guys, this is my grandma. Happy birthday for you, Thank God that made me come into the day, your birthday. I'm so happy. Whatever I mean, no happy. Then I say thank God that put me here. Yeah. All my grandkids. All my great grand. I know, your great grand, grand over here. I got it too beautiful great grand. Is he, is he patient? Kind? Is he kind? Yeah. Patient? Mm -hmm. Or oh, when I say he's patient, he's Yeah. I just told mommy, right? I told mommy, I forgot when she was on FaceTime with him, when he was on there. But mommy was like, hey, Leah, say hi, whatever, right? So the first one came on camera, the one that looks like Andrew, right? So then the, he came on camera, and I was like, I, I didn't want to show my face, I didn't look all cute, but he was all it's cute. He's like a mix. Fill your perfect will and destiny, Father Lord God. So we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in today. For this is the day that you have made and we shall rejoice in it and be glad. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. About to go down. Got six models, six, six bottles of Chris. All that with ass, got weed everywhere. What do you say? Me, you and your Chloe glasses. Go somewhere private where we can discuss. I think my hair got longer for real. birthday my favorite auntie which is my mom's sister um her birthday was yesterday and my grandma came down from new york so we were just hanging out yesterday it was such a vibe it was so fun my, with my mom my daughters um her kids and then my grandma my grandma is a great grandma like great grandma so for her to still be alive and get to see my kids that's like such a blessing that's such a blessing y'all so um yesterday was a vibe and then after we went to breakfast at ihop went to my little sister's baseball game they didn't win but my little sister did really good she was pretty much hard on herself the whole time when she came in the car when we left the game i'm like girl you did good like this is your first time playing softball like give yourself some grace you're doing good maya, and maya was yeah maya was crying <laughs> Kaylin in the back talk about Maya was crying. But we were just trying to like, yo, relax. This is your first time playing this sport. You did good. Give yourself some grace. And that made me think about, I guess, with us, like how we view, how we view a lot of things. It's like we need to give ourselves some grace, especially when we just came out of 
something you know traumatic or if we're learning to do something new when you know we don't understand it the first few times that's okay like give yourself some grace stop being so hard on yourself so and i'm learning that so i was just thinking about that i'm like dang how she's crying right now because she lost his baseball game is crazy because she did so good and i feel like i need to start applying that same rule to myself like you're doing great as a mother like you're doing great at what you do you're doing great in your life right now like stop being so hard on yourself so yeah y'all so my morning is pretty chill today um today is friday so i'm pretty much i don't know if i'm gonna do some cleaning but i feel like i need to do some cleaning i feel like i really do i feel like i really do need to do some cleaning today and just reorganize and just freshen up just freshen up my space because everything is all over the place in my bedroom so yeah i'm gonna do that good morning you guys so as you can see today is what's today what's today saturday today's saturday today is saturday morning and i'm waking up feeling really good this morning um i did take out my hair last night so i gotta do my hair today but um uh, my family is down here um they live in a they live like an hour away in georgia and my grandma is down here so we're having a little get together at my aunt's house um today later on today so i want to get me a nice little cute dress look cute and whatnot so yeah we're going to be at Target. <laughs> this is a dress, but I definitely need to wear a bra. And then this is the back of the dress. So it's cute and then i'm gonna wear this on top okay guys hold on let me wipe my camera all right y'all so i'm ready to go hang out with my family i'm low-key sweating low-key but it's okay i got this dress and these shoes in my bag and yeah so guys, my mom just went inside because we ordered some Publix um, fried chicken and stuff like that. So she's inside picking that up. And then we're going to go to my auntie's house and hang out with the family and family friends. Um, some of them came down from New York. So I'm excited, really. Um, this morning I was having like a very rough morning, but... I prayed and prayed and prayed and you know when you ask God to show you something you're like yo God let me know like is this good for me is this right for me is this person good for me is this person right for me you know just about your life in general and God literally gives you the answer like the very next day <laughs> it's like dang dang god i thought you was gonna you know i thought you was gonna ease it in he's like all right you asked me so i'm gonna just give you i'm gonna just give it to you straight up boom now what i've done sent you so many signs you know about this that yo it's time to make a decision it's time to make a choice and it's time to now honor yourself and don't lower your standards and you know just Start respecting the life that I've given you. Start respecting, you know, who you are, who I've created you to be. You know what I mean? So um, this morning I was um, driving because um, I, I went to Target this morning. Y'all saw it. And I was driving back home, right? So on my way driving home, y'all, I'm like rebuking things. I'm asking God to, you know... You know, just I'm praying to God that I'm praying to God that like, you know, 
a lot of generational curses be broken. I'm praying to God to, you know, just clean me and sanctify me. You know, like just a lot of things. I'm just claiming it. I'm speaking, you know, generational generational joy and generational happiness over my girls like I was going in in the car when I mean and I almost got like righteously angry because I was literally like yo the devil you're not playing with me you're not gonna send people in my life to you know disrupt it and just cause peace I mean just cause chaos and confusion no you're not you know you're not I'm not gonna be sitting here in depression you're not gonna put depression in my life you're not going to start building up anxiety in my life. Like, no, uh, -uh it stops. It stops here. Like, this is where it, it gets cut off. Like, enough is enough already. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when like, you know, and it, not, it doesn't necessarily mean that the devil is setting is sending people in your life to destroy your life. Because sometimes he do. He does that. But it could be just situations. You know, the devil would put you in situations to cause because he knows that this is going to trigger you to get depressed and to get anxiety to lower your self-esteem there's a lot of things he's going to put in your life to just disrupt your peace you know what i mean whether you get rejected from a job you know and the person says something rude to you or you know just something just weird stuff he'll start like you know pop he'll start you know sending in your life to just you know cause just just cause chaos and I was just this morning like, nah, this not happening no more. So, yeah, I feel so much better. So then I came home. I went in the shower. I started washing my hair. I started praying over myself. Like, guys, this is a real, like, this was this is a real transformation shift this whole morning. You know what I mean? And I feel better. I feel good clearly like look at me like Mommy. what so i feel just uplifted and just joyful again and i'm excited to you know i'm excited for a lot of things that's coming that's starting to pour into my life you know what i mean i'm excited about it so there's not this is not a season to be sad anymore this is not a season to be you know oh this is not a season anymore to be angry and annoyed and confused. Like, nah, 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 nah. We done that already all 2022. We did that, done that. We're not doing that again. So this year, ending this year and going into next year is only peace, joy, you know, and growth. You know what I mean? And only being around people that genuinely love me genuinely care about me genuinely want to grow with me because a lot of people will come into your life and just want to stay stagnant but that doesn't mean that you have to that was a car chat all right i'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs>